Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on thirds. So let us begin and see what the question says. If x is equal to 7 minus 4 radical 3, then the value of x plus 1 over x is. Now x value they have already given. So let me start with the second term which is 1 over x. So it can be written as 1 over 7 minus 4 radical 3. Now if we are having a radical term in the denominator, then we have to go for a rationalization method in which we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of the given term. So conjugate in the sense, if it is 7 minus, then it becomes 7 plus 4 radical 3 over 7 plus 4 radical 3. So the numerators get multiplied. So 1 times 7 plus 4 radical 3 gives you 7 plus 4 radical 3. And in the denominator, we are going to multiply each term one by one. So 7 times 7 gives us 49. And 7 times plus 4 radical 3 gives us plus 28 radical 3. Now minus 4 radical 3 times 7 gives us minus 28 radical 3 and minus 4 radical 3 times 4 radical 3. So if we have minus 4 radical 3 times 4 radical 3 then the numbers gets multiplied 4 times 4 is 16 and radical 3 times radical 3 is 3 itself. And since there is a minus sign, minus with the plus becomes minus. So we get minus 16 times 3 is minus 48. So we get here the number as minus 48. Now let us further simplify this and we get it as 7 plus 4 radical 3 divided by now plus 28 radical 3 and minus 28 radical 3 cancel out each other because the terms are same but the signs are different and we are left with 49 minus 48 which gives us 1. So 1 over x value we got it as 7 plus 4 radical 3. Now let us substitute the value of x and 1 over x in this equation. So we have x plus 1 over x. So x was given as 7 minus 4 radical 3. And we got the value of 1 over x as 7 plus 4 radical 3. So plus 7 plus 4 radical 3. Now as we can see 4 radical 3, 4 radical 3 are same but with opposite signs. So they cancel out each other. And we are left with 7 plus 7 which gives us 14. So the value of x plus 1 over x is 14 which is option D. So to solve these kind of examples make use of rationalization method. First solve the terms independently and then use them for substitution for the final equation. Hope you have understood the method and liked my video and thanks for watching.